The Art of Screen Printing. Hey everybody, Lana Corey here again with Graphic Elephants. This is The Art of Screen Printing presented by GSG. Hey, we're about to wrap up the uh, Photoshop portion of our emblem, super, superhero emblem. And uh, this lesson is going to be about file prep before we move over to Illustrator and start worrying about output. We've since collapsed all of the extras that we were using to make the entire <clears throat> design for separation. One of the things I like to do when I'm going through this process at the end is kind of look over my, my actual images again, my actual channels. So let's go ahead and turn on the base. Um, and of course you can see here it is with all its intricacy, all the ins and outs that we did along the way. Um, of course, the removal of the base under all the halo and the blue mesh. And then let's just go ahead and turn, I turn these on and off because I want to see, make sure that there's no pe base peeking out where it doesn't need to be, that, you know, there's no shifting in the colors. Because sometimes that happens uh, if you're not paying attention, sometimes that can happen. Um, so here's all the colors sort of turned on with the base. Another thing I also like to do is sort of look at the colors individually against each other. So here's a good example of just, you know, just seeing what all the knockouts are correct as well from the blue versus the purple, yellow and so forth. And you can see those all kind of happening here. You can see the overlays of the yellow on the blue mesh and some of the purple wedges. And then here's our fall, our finished white. So, all right. And then of course I have all these extra channels up here that we use to make masks and knockouts. Um, these are all no longer necessary to keep. So you can see me selecting all of these just so I can trash them because we don't want that the RIP software to be confused by any of that. And then as far as your layers go, when we go into EPS mode with this, we're gonna take this from a Photoshop document into an EPS file format, because that's what RIP software sees. Um, we're gonna, uh, this will all flatten out. So, and how you make an EPS and just create the, the channels for themselves to be here. And um, don't forget that they have to be in spot channel mode. So go ahead and double check your channels, make sure it says spot color. Because if you have one that looks like this, for instance, that has channel options with no spot designation color, that's not gonna, the RIP software will not see it. So be careful, make sure and double check all of those. Okay, in order to make the EPS file, we're gonna start actually, we can touch the mode now and get rid of these channels. So you're gonna see I'm gonna remove, not copy, but remove the blue channel. It's telling me it's gonna flatten my layers. And that's okay, and it'll do it. So it's deleting the channels that make up the color of the RGB because we don't need those in the in RIP software, doesn't need to have those either. So I'm gonna get rid of the other channels at the top of my mode and channel palette here. You can see me trashing those. And then it also the fabric is left over, so we don't want to have that in there. So let's go ahead and remove that. And all we're left with now is all of our plates. <clears throat> so these are what are going to get basically ripped through the RIP software. And then in order to make it an EPS file, we're going to do a save as, and you're going to save it to wherever you want to. But in front format down here where it says Photoshop, you get three options: Photoshop DCS 2.0. That is the file format that you need for your RIP software. So I'm going to say save, and it's going to replace the one that I had originally. Uh, and then also this information here, we don't touch any of this. It's, it pretty much sets itself up for what we need for separation. So we'll say okay. And in the next video, we're going to go full circle and come back to our artboard and set it up for final exposure screen. Seems like a lot of steps, but a lot of repeated steps, which basically um, – this would be a question for another probably video or lesson about writing scripts or writing actions to step and repeat some of those things, because there is a lot of, of similar, but there's a lot of, uh, we call it voodoo or hippie magic, right? You got to go in there and I feel it. I need a little more shadow. I need a little less highlight. All those kinds of things become a, a, uh, a feel. Um, and that's really where the balance of the, of the math and art in this business really is. So. Yeah. Hang on. Next yeah. time we'll get it on an Illustrator board for you. Yeah. Peace, Corey. I'm Lon. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs>